C1 atlas. The first cervical vertebra, also known as the atlas, bears little resemblance to any other vertebra and is therefore classified as an atypical vertebra. The unusual name for this bone comes from a deity in Greek mythology, Atlas. C1, or Atlas of the Spine, supports the spherical skull, just as the Greek god Atlas carried the weight of the world on his shoulders. Synonyms, Vertebra C1, Vertebra Cervicalis 1, First Cervical Vertebrae, C1. Location and Structure Located in the uppermost portion of the cervical region of the spine, the atlas is the first vertebra of the spine. The atlas articulates superiorly with the occipital condyles, located on each side of the foramen magnum of the skull. It articulates inferiorly with the second cervical vertebra, C2, also called the axis. Classified as an atypical vertebra, the atlas is a ring-like bone that does not contain a vertebral body or spinous process. The atlas consists of anterior and posterior arches connected by a lateral mass on each side instead of a vertebral body. Each lateral mass bears articular facets on the superior and inferior sides and projects a transverse process on the lateral side. A ring-like anatomical space called the vertebral canal, which provides passage for the spinal cord, is formed centrally by the anterior and posterior arches and the two lateral masses. Components Anterior arch of atlas The anterior portion of the atlas ring is formed by the anterior arch of the atlas. A bony ridge known as the anterior tubercle, which provides attachment to the anterior longitudinal ligament, is located on the anterior aspect of the arch. The anterior occipital membrane and lateral portions of the anterior longitudinal ligament attach to the superior and inferior surfaces of the anterior arch. There is a circular articular facet that articulates with the dens of the axis, C2, to form the median atlantoaxial joint on the posterior surface of the anterior arch. This is a synovial pivot joint that facilitates rotational movements of the head on the neck, such as shaking the head or turning the head from left to right. Posterior arch of atlas. The posterior arch of the atlas is homologous to the pedicles and laminae of typical vertebrae and forms the posterior three-fifths of the circumference of the atlantoaxial ring. The upper surface of the posterior arch bears a groove that is simply called the vertebral artery groove. As its name suggests, this groove carries the vertebral artery, the vertebral venous plexus, as well as the suboccipital, first spinal, nerve. Variably, this groove may be advanced and transformed into a channel, thus forming the channel for the vertebral artery. Important attachment points for the surrounding ligamentous structures are the edges of the posterior arch. The superior margin provides attachment to the atlantic occipital membrane, while the highest pair of ligamenta flavor attached to the inferior margin. A bony prominence known as the posterior tubercle is located at the apex of the posterior arch. The posterior tubercle serves as an attachment point for the ligamentum nuchi and is homologous to the spinous process of typical vertebrae. Lateral mass. Between the anterior and posterior arches of the atlas there are two lateral masses that are oval in shape. The lateral masses act to replace a vertebral body. They support the weight of the skull and are the thickest and strongest part of the atlas. There are joint facets on the upper and lower surfaces of each lateral mass. Filled circle the kidney-shaped upper articular facets articulate with the occipital condyles of the skull to form the atlantic occipital joint. The atlantic occipital joint allows flexion and extension of the neck. It also allows slight lateral bending of the head. This joint is used when the head is nodded or tilted. Filled circle the circular inferior facets articulate with the superior facets of the axis, C2, to form the lateral atlantoaxial joints. The paired lateral atlantoaxial joints work in conjunction with the median atlantoaxial joint to produce the rotational motion of the head. A tubercle known as the transverse ligament tubercle is located on the medial surface of each lateral mass. As the name implies, this tubercle is the attachment point for the transverse ligament. The transverse ligament stabilizes the odontoid process of the axis, C2. The transverse ligament divides the vertebral canal, the center of the ring, into an anterior compartment and a posterior compartment. The anterior third of the vertebral canal is occupied by the axis of the dens, while the posterior compartment is occupied by the spinal cord and its sheaths. Transverse process. The transverse process projects inferolaterally from each lateral mass of the atlas. The transverse processes of the atlas are the second longest of all the cervical vertebrae. They act as strong levers for the muscles that assist in the rotation of the head. The broad apex of the transverse process is homologous to a typical cervical posterior tubercle. Each transverse process is formed by anterior and posterior roots that extend laterally and merge. Between them is a small hole called the transverse foramen. The transverse foramina of the cervical vertebrae allow the vertebral artery and vein to pass through, ascending and descending to supply and drain the regions of the brain, respectively. And that's it for today. But before we finish, Let's review some of what we learned. The first cervical vertebra, also known as the atlas, is a ring-like bone that does not contain a vertebral body or spinous process. The atlas consists of anterior and posterior arches connected by a lateral mass on each side. 
Each lateral mass bears articular facets on the superior and inferior sides and projects a transverse process on the lateral side. In the center, a ring-like anatomical space called the vertebral canal is formed, which provides a passageway for the spinal cord. And that's all for today. I hope you had a lot of fun learning about the atlas. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss the next parts. And please give us a like.